Welcome back to Ha. Huh? No, to Left 4 Dead. Basically, preview edition. That for some reason is stuttering. And no, this game does not have the right to stutter. And yeah, reloading did nothing. And a computer that can run Skyrim without problem. That can run Warframe amazingly. But for some reason, can't run Skyrim. No, can't run this game. And I'm also noticing that the, apparently this game. Can't play more than uh, apparently you only can do two uh, of the fast zombies at a time. I know that it had to take long, so you would have to survive up there for a bit. That does not mean that you have to make the return trip boring. And so we meet at last. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. Uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to Christ, remain, the texture on that uh, the shotgun is horrible. As Just me, that's how things that don't load in properly look. Clock, especially when they have grown unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. Just look at that gun, seriously. I mean, maybe I could excuse it if the entire game looked like that, but it doesn't. It's just that one gun, they just felt like, nah, we don't need to make that. We don't need to make that look good. And then they jump and then they are suddenly going 200 fucking 20 miles an hour. That's how you, really how you should do the bunging enemies. I mean, it's not like you should probably do it with a bit of... Uh, Aim for the head, he says, while shooting them in the body. Uh, aim for the head so the game can cut him in half. I shot you in the face with a shotgun. At a range, at a smaller range than some of the, uh, than another where another one of your friends died. Game, try to be fucking consistent. Ow, fucker. Uh, 
Oh great, physics engines. That way our physics can suddenly deal, suddenly blow an explosive thing into your face and do huge amounts of damage to you. Because that's how we do good game design. You would think that somebody who lived here for many years apparently knows not to waste bloody ammo. Yeah, this really is uh, just the best bloody game there is, isn't it? That guy, I shot him with a shotgun in the head. Immediately that. That guy, two shots, because... I don't know, we rolled in the random number generator wasn't in your favor that time. So you do have AI to uh, know this explosive stuff. You just chose not to uh, react. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own salvation. <laughs> they really wanted to make him uh, scary, didn't they? And they played an all scary noise, and then I walked into the I walked into loading screen number. Fuck knows. And suddenly the music had to drop. So, ooh, scare. Controlling this game is so annoying. Hooray, more jumpy fuckers. Because those guys are fun to fight, aren't they? Oh, they're not? Well. Major You know, this might be the most fun part of this game so far. Because I can pretend like I am playing Doom. You know, if the guns didn't feel good and the enemy design wasn't clever. were in fact not designed for what you can do. And you know that might be important in a shooter.
So I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, kept shooting him. Fuck no. Ah, uh, but uh, should I do something? No, of course not. Because we are Valve. And we do not need to take uh, good gameplay into consideration. Because everybody will just buy our games anyway. They're basically Blizzard. We don't really have to try. We, have to, we don't have to try to make something... The things just despawned when I threw them down here, didn't they? Yes, they did. Really made my, uh, me doing stuff, uh, feel like it mattered. So oh, you're just going to all fluck under me? Alright. Enemy design 101. Basically, don't do this and you're good. No. Yeah, these are the guys that don't care about getting shot. You have to hit them. With a fuck ton of bullets before they will actually die. How many satisfying shooters have bullet sponges in them? You see, this wouldn't be as bad if it was just. They require quite a few bullets in them. But no, they also have to make them fast and jump around the. And seriously, what kind of flashlights own. Flashlight only last. Yeah, they have to just run around stupidly fast all over the shitty place. So you can't hit them, but you need to hit them a large amount of times. Game design, ladies and gentlemen. How not to do it. So yeah, how I did it last time was somewhat fun. I mean, it was apparently... But it was a horrible way to do it. But at least it was fucking fun. Of course that hits me. Why would it not? Gun explosions with a range that feels correct? No, we're half-life. We don't have to do that. run around you spray if you do it well you can avoid all damage in this no you will get hit can I just walk past them because they are not interesting to fight. If I can just walk past all of these stupid enemies. No, I can't. I also can't use the explosive barrels because, hey, explosion radius of a uh, of five kilometers wide.
Oh, but if there's a uh, bar in between, no, then you're fine. Okay, those fuckers dealt with. Fuck this jump. Uh, just yeah, fuck this jump. Not a uh, nothing uh, about it. Just fuck this jump. It's horrible. He doesn't feel good. Uh, how many bullets did these fuckers need again? Not like I have a clue now where I need to go. I guess that way. Nice angles there. Totally not a straight 90 degree angle. And yes, I'm probably unnecessarily hard on this game. I do not care. Fun fuckers. Yeah, they totally didn't just spawn in here. They totally were there and just happened to come out right the second I came past. And you might say, well, no game is perfect, well... There is not perfect, and then there is. We are very, very blatant in how this is done. And this is just overly fucking blatant. Oh yeah, and I'll be shot immediately when I come out of this. Well, we made it past Ravenholm. The only unique part about this game, really. And it's mainly just... Well, it's mainly just a Left 4 Dead demo, isn't it? Yeah, there's a one of those fuckers up there. Oh, why does this part have... Uh... Portal music. Is this music I associate with a good game? What's it doing here? Because this is a part where you have to run and then you'll be shot at, so... No, not quite yet. And then suddenly, 1200 miles an hour. Suddenly going so fast that I, uh... Already shooting at me. Why am I even asking? Yeah, I have to use a grenade at that. Oh. Fuck these grenades! Fuck these grenades! Yeah, that is the next part, just duck to cover and then and throw grenades in those holes. Who 
Okay, apparently they also do that. Don't bother with that guy. I'm sure I'm the big resistance fighter. I need to save the world and stuff. But, um. How did you know I was here? Oh, look, I have basically no health left. It's the energy gun. The gun that... Was this released before or after Cold uh, Soul uh, 1? Because the secondary fire of this thing is... Just the Portal 1... Uh, NG balls. And maybe you'll say, well, they also made the uh, portal, but um, they didn't. That was actually just a studio they bought. Or a team, or a team they bought. Hooray, sea sickness gun. Those are always good fun. Automatic fire and high, uh, high amount of recoil. How many fucking explosive pills does one place need? So the guy in the uh, in the underground and in other places. It's Leon. We're all clear, and I've got Gordon Freeman. Doctor Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Doctor Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon. And I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it through Ravenholm. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The border guards tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm going to hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the tow can. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Narco, bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. 
There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the ant lions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Yeah, it's really, uh... You really should not just make that a cutscene, I mean... Hello, Dr. Freeman. Car's all ready for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the beach. I mean, I know that the general consensus go. is that uh, cutscenes are not the greatest, but... It must also be very uh, annoying to English people. Yeah, yeah, it just dropped me already. Oh, we also take health damage here, don't I? How all the best uh, That's how all good games work. Just do random bits of damage. Well, I'm not going to be uh If I can I'm not going to be shooting anybody. How does that jump work? Oh yeah, the tunnels every, I don't know, couple hundred meters. Because we have to load. I know, old game. Wait, I already went through a loading screen just to get outside from the lab. Yay, more damage I could not just... That was not uh, an obvious way for avoiding it. Yes, I know, I keep harping on that. It is a pro fucking problem. Oh, and if I... Yeah, if I turn it off, then I'll get those fuckers. Physics engine. Basically, the entire thing that this is... Uh, just all a showcase for the physics engine, and it's kind of shit. Just if a lover of this game is watching this, please tell me why people know this as one of the uh, amazing games. If you're a game designer, please tell me why I should not be able to uh, hit the guy. Why I should not be able to shoot the little thingy that was getting ready to jump off. Why should I not be able to shoot that thing off already? Also the question, why the fuck did I do that? I mean, to regain a bit of health, hooray. Let's 
So we are now at the car section. Hooray! With a house every couple hundred meters. About two or three houses. Uh, Look, it's the G-Man again. Oh, oh I was being shot. It's not like it, uh, getting shot would be a good reason to take away, to immediately remove you from the thing you are looking through. Because that sounded like it was very far away. Not like I was getting shot. I'm having a really hard time uh, finding things uh, to like about this game. I mean, I guess the uh, different stuff would be very interesting when it came out but that does not make it good anymore nowadays it's just full of bad game design so yeah let's explore some more of that in the next